heights, avalanches, climbing up and down mountains. I am too old for this, and I am retired from adventuring for a reason. <sighs> Time for another lesson, I guess, now that we're relatively safe. It's a quick one today. Round 749,225 to the nearest 100,000. Well, to start this one off, we're going to start it off just like we did with the problem yesterday. Let's write out this number, 749,225, and we're going to decide how many hundred thousands does it have. Well, it has seven hundred thousands. Seven hundred thousands. So we're going to start off a number line, and we're going to ask ourselves, what is one more hundred thousand than that? It would be eight hundred thousand. And we're starting off here with the number we have, or the, the number of hundred thousands that we have, seven hundred thousand. And then we have to ask ourselves, what is halfway between those two numbers? Well, that would be 750,000 would be halfway. Just the same as halfway between 700 and 800 would be 750. Now we need to place our number 749,225 on this number line. Where would it go? Well, we need to do a little comparing here between 750,000 and 749. Just like we did before, we're going to, when we were comparing, we're going to look at the hundreds thousands. Well, those are the same. But the second digit, the 10 thousands are different and four is less than five. Now, 749 is just a little bit less than 750, but it is still less. It's going to get placed right there, which means we're going to round down and keep the same number of hundred thousands. Our answer to this question is 700,000. 700,000. We're going to try one more. You might also encounter some problems like this. This is what mathematicians really use estimation for, double checking their answers or getting a good idea of what the answer should be before they solve a problem so that they're ready to compare. So in this problem, it says to estimate an answer to 505,341 plus 193,841. With these two numbers, what I want to do is write them out, 505,341 plus 193,841, and I'm going to round them to the nearest 100,000. What is the nearest 100,000? This time, instead of using my vertical number line, I'm just going to look at the number to the right. I know that in this number, I have five hundred thousands. And in order to go up to six hundred thousands, I would have to have at least halfway between those. And halfway between five hundred thousand and six hundred thousand would be five hundred fifty thousand. Meaning that this number here would have to be at least a five for me to round up. And it's not, it's a zero. So I'm going to keep it the same. It is going to stay as 500,000. How about 193,000? I know that it has 100,000 in it. 100,000. The next number of 100,000s would be 200,000. And what would be halfway between? Well, just like halfway between 100 and 200, it would be 100 and 50,000. This number here has to be at least a five, five or more to go up to 200,000. So let's look at that next number, and it is a 
9. So it is enough. We are close enough. 193 is really close to 200. So we're going to round up to 200,000. Now, this is a problem that I can do in my head. I couldn't do 505,341 plus 193,841 in my head quickly. No. But I can stack these two numbers, 500,000 plus 200,000, and add them together and tell you that the answer is 700,000. Be careful. When it asks you to estimate an answer, it does not want an exact answer. It wants you to do what I've just done here. Use an easy way to say the answer is going to be about this much. That's what we're looking for when we estimate. All right. That's enough for today. I can't feel my fingers. Stay, uh, stay mathematical, I guess. <laughs>